What's going on guys and welcome to the second video in this series. In this video we're going to add um, the ground to our scene so we can get something moving and so you can just kind of add like add a couple objects to our scene. So to start let's actually change this, um, this background color here to something a little bit more pleasant. Um, I'm going to put in here UI color has a function that allows you to give it um, an RGB value. You can see that right here. And I'm going to use this, and um, I have a pre-selected color here I'm going to use. Uh, you guys can use whatever color you want, um, but this is just going to give you kind of a nice sky color here if you use this one. So you can make your sky like blood red or something if you want, but I'm just going to use the sky color for now. And yeah, so that's the color we're going to use. So um, to start, I'm just going to, we're actually going to make a separate class for our ground, except to start, I'm just going to add um, kind of like a brown box, just an SK sprite now, just to kind of get everyone up to speed on um, the general node structure of sprite kit. So to start, I'm just going to say let ground equals SK sprite node. And a sprite node is just um, kind of just an object or something you can put into a sprite kit scene. And the SK sprite node class has this function called um, this function that initializer that allows you to give it a color and give it a size. And that's basically just going to make a square of the given color. So we're going to say color equals UI color dot brown color. And just a quick trick here if you guys want to use this instead. Um, if you know that this is supposed to be of the class type UI color, you can just drop the UI color and say dot brown color. Um, and it will work just as well. And I'll actually, I'll just demonstrate that really fast. So, um, so UI color, dot brown color. Let's say we want to make our size, CG size. You can use, um, actually, I'm going to explain too many things at once. So I'm going to say a CG size of um, view dot frame dot size dot width. And we're going to make it a height of 20. Now you'll see if we run this, you're not going to see anything within the scene because what you have to do is you have to set the position and you have to set actually add the ground to our scene before you actually view it. So generally if your sprite if your sprite nodes aren't showing up within your game, it's because you haven't you kind of just forgot to um, to position them or add them to your scene. So we're going to say um, ground dot position equals view dot center. Just, just make it easy so we can just um, just make it easy at first to add our first node to the scene. And we'll say add child ground. So this add child function, um, the reason I can call it and you like you don't see another function here is because add child is a function of the SK scene class. So um, this is the same as saying self .add child, but generally it's better practice just to um, leave the self out when you don't actually explicitly need it. So um, yeah, so let's run this and you'll see that we have our ground there. So that can be our initial ground node. You'll notice uh, um, uh, yeah, you'll, you'll notice that the ground is right there. So the thing I was saying before about, uh, I was gonna say something about the CG size here. There are a couple different functions you can use to actually um, make, a, make a CG size. You can either, use the CG size initializer with the width and the height, or you can say, um, you can say CG size make and say view.frame.size.width comma 20. And that's the same exact thing as um, this you see right here. For, throughout this tutorial series, I'm probably gonna use the CG size make just because that's the function that I've been used to. And I think it just looks a little cleaner um, just to my eyes. So I will be using that for this series. And also to demonstrate what I was going to say earlier, if you take out this UI color, see it gives us no errors. Um, or it does. Okay guys, I figured out what the problem was. Um, actually, when you are initializing, um, you'll see here that when we say SK sprite, when we're making um, initializing our SK sprite node, it has a UI color and this exclamation mark right here. I, it seems like, um, you actually do have to designate the UI color when you are actually initializing your SK sprite node. However, you can change 
Um, you can change the color afterwards using this kind of this different dot syntax. So I can say dot red color here, ground dot color equals dot red color without putting that UI color in there. And um, it works just fine. So that was the error it was giving me. You'll notice in the new Xcode that um, when you're using Swift, a lot of the errors you get can be a little bit cryptic because um, they have, like Apple hasn't really sorted out all of their error message issues. So it doesn't give you very many easy routes to go to, um, only some of the time. So uh, just watch out for that. It usually just helps to Google the error that you're getting if you are getting one. And um, usually you can find something that way and that's usually a good start. So, yeah, so we're good on the ground. Um, at least the initial SK sprite on ground. So now that we have like kind of a basic, kind of basic review of adding stuff um, using sprite nodes, SK sprite nodes, we are going to actually create um, another class here. So I'm going to create the movie, I'm going to call this the ML moving ground class. And um, this ML thing is just a Apple convention, Xcode convention. You basically just kind of put your initials or your company initials before the classes that you make. That's a way to distinguish between Apple classes and actually Apple framework classes and the classes that you make yourself. So you can put your own initials here or use ML, um, either way it works. So I'm gonna hit create and we're just gonna create the basic frame of our ML moving ground class. Um, and in the next video, we will actually start to implement this. I'm gonna say init size CG size and this is just, um, this init right here is just me creating a, another initializer for um, the ground class. Undeclared type CG size. Oh, of course, I need to, um, also, also we need to import, import Sprite Kit. Be sure you do that, otherwise it's not going to recognize any of Sprite Kit's classes. And so yeah, now we have a basic frame here. The initial, this is just going to be our initialization method. And um, in the next video, we will cover how to initialize and set up the ML Moving Ground class.